baby camel. What, what, yeah. what here and what here. You're the one that found the first tomatoes, didn't you? Baby Kamega, what, yeah. what, what here and what here. You're the one that found the first tomatoes, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted Kamega. Well, you're gonna have to wait a while for those guys. Are there any? 
any more starting. There's still flowers. Once they get fertilized, the flowers will turn into those little green balls. And then, and then they will grow into big green tomatoes and then turn into... But I these are big tomatoes. Oh yeah, my... The tiny little plant we started will be baby tomatoes. Hello everyone, we just in quiet time. Have we talked to them at all today? I honestly don't think so, but maybe. Yeah. Did we? Anyway, so far today we have gotten up and before breakfast we went to the school bus to pick up the week's meals. We had no idea what to expect. It was kind of like a weekend serving of food, except with a few more entrees, maybe like a long weekend serving. It's like three pizzas, two things of burgers, some frozen grilled cheese, chicken nuggets. Oh, I got an itch because I'm out here. That kind of thing. He was really happy because we gave him strawberry pancakes that he loves and he was craving those. So he ate those right away. Then we came home and had breakfast. I did four beer labels for work. Yeah, they're not growing anything yet, but he's talking about the plants but I can't they're down at the bottom by the watering can anyway yeah after I did some labels we just decided to spend some time outside and get a little bit of exercise but stay out of the sun so we had my little sea turtle when time is going we had a snacky lunch outside of Starbucks we got some grocery items and then I got some Starbucks so we could use their one table and had our snacky lunch so we walked through the shopping center had a little dance party baby I'm filming can you hang on just a second you can you wait just a second I'm sorry I can't turn but my house number is over there and then all the street signs you can literally see two street signs that's showing my address like if I turn around but yeah we were dying it's so hot and humid then we came home and went right up to quiet time and now we are doing our second watering of the day of the plants i need to go inside before the mosquitoes get me though it's a freckle zone out here still rather appropriate that my hair is ginger because of green eyes and freckles right all right we're gonna go inside because it is sticky out here and we need to figure oh, out dinner no. soon my friends I talked to you right before dinner but we ended up having stir fry I've been getting the supplies for stir fry about every other week I think that the kids don't super love it and it's just kind of it's there it's a healthy fresh meal with lots of veggies nobody's completely in love with it it's just a good option and I put tofu in it too so I think if I did it every week, it would just be too much for everybody. I need to redo this chalk sign. I do it every year. I need to make it say five. Maybe I'll surprise him. He's in the shower. But yeah, I cooked the, to the tofu stir fry. So we had that. And then we had a little bit of a metal dance party. Danced to some drowning pool because last night, we came upstairs to get ready for bed and Sebastian was like changing his clothes and I could just really quietly hear, let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor. 
he was just singing that under his breath I'm like oh my god that's the cutest thing <laughs> so yeah after dinner we had a little bit of a mosh some head banging my bun comes out as soon as I start I did head bang a little bit in the car <laughs> when we were driving to our walk and had to fix my hair at a red light after that I went downstairs I didn't film because I was just watching the news at the same time and that uses my phone but I was just painting over all the black things that I sharpied I find that those pre-painted pieces it's just such a pain to sand everything down so when I'm going black I just go ahead and I sharpie over everything let it dry and then a thin coat of black paint goes right over the sharpie and makes it nice it, it looks like I did like 10 smooth layers of paint instead of having to sand it all forever to get their shellac off it and then a million sloppy coats it's just so much better unfortunately all my sharpies are dead now <laughs> and the sharpie pack I ordered with our groceries did not come they said it was out of stock so I need to get those elsewhere maybe I'll just Amazon them but yeah that's all I really had time for because Sebastian said he wanted a shower which means we have to go up a half an hour early so he started at 8 30 it is now 10 till 9 I have just been cleaning he left a whole train set out and all sorts of toys and stuff so I was just cleaning that up just got the bed ready and his pajamas laid out and I got everybody's vitamins and allergy pills laid out so Jax needs to take a shower tonight he is 11 he now stinks because <laughs> he's 11 never puts his deodorant on he says he forgets and it's a pain in the butt to get him to shower but I hear that that's par for the course so we're working on that so anybody has recommendations for gentle beginner skincare for an 11 year old who doesn't care I would like to start him out getting used to that before his skin is a mess because <laughs> those teen years are coming speaking of bodies still dealing with girl stuff but I think and just to skip ahead like a couple minutes if you don't want to hear, I personally think that all things menstruation should be completely unembarrassing to talk about. Sorry if you disagree. It is something that half the population of the world deals with and it should not be shameful, it should not be nasty. I mean, some things are nasty, but they're also just like inescapable, so. Here it goes. I'm pretty sure I cut myself <laughs> with the tampon. And I even use the cardboard ones because I am so easy to injure and bleed. Thank you, blood thinners. Gift that keeps on giving. So yeah, when my period should be like winding up, dealing with an injury, gonna have to deal with that. And I'm gonna skip my medicine tonight to hopefully clot things up. <laughs> So tomorrow I can be feeling good. That's all I'm gonna say. That was probably more than half of you watching wanted to hear since only like 20 of you will ultimately watch this. So tomorrow we get to see our friends, our Panera friends. I used to see my dear friend every single Thursday. We met through a Thursday Panera La Leche League for breastfeeding. Um, her youngest is older than my youngest, but she was still breastfeeding and just moved to the area. So she joined up to meet others, thankfully, or I wouldn't have met her. And yeah, we continued to go even after her child weaned. Sebastian was on the cusp when the pandemic hit, he was still three, he was three and a half when the pandemic hit and we suddenly had to, we just stopped, stopped going. It was like actually a Thursday that the school shut down and stuff and she messaged me, he's like, hey, schools are shut down, do you want to meet up? And I'm like, we are already just locking ourselves up. So I never 
I didn't get to see her until just a couple, oh, a couple weeks ago. We met up in Panera. So March, early March of 2020 through when we saw her in early June of this year. Crazy when I was so used to seeing her every single week. But what I was saying is we were seeing each other every week for La Leche League and then they finally just did they didn't have leaders to come every week, so it ended up just being us going there every week and just enjoying each other's company. The kids would come, they would play. If it was summer, her kids would come. And yeah, really missed that. We're sitting outside still and it is swamp ass here. It is so humid. It's like 100% humidity in the mornings and then settles in at like 70% humidity with the real feel, like the heat index is in over 100, real temperatures in the upper 90s. I mean, they're having bigger heat waves out west. Hopefully it's not as humid out there because that is brutal on top of 100 degree weather. I don't know. But yeah, it's gross and dangerous. So yeah, our walk today was just in a shady shopping center and we spent some time trying to record a dance walk we kind of call it when we did walk by with silly walks and dance moves and the spot we picked just didn't have enough space for the camera and my head kept getting cut off and my watch wasn't like linking up to that little middle white button it's supposed to show me what's on the camera because I had to put my camera like way up against a building so I couldn't see it to see if it was recording or anything it seems like that's working now after everything's being restarted, but that didn't help us then. So we did it once and we were completely cut off. And then we did it a second time, it didn't record. And then finally we did it a third time. We were both just dying. We didn't do nearly as much or nearly as fun. And my head still got cut off for some of it because it still wasn't showing me the preview on my watch, but we got it. You saw it, you saw what I was able to salvage. And that was our exercise. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I got to say. Got my work done, everything was fine. No edits needed. Um, yeah, I really want to do some deep cleaning of all the rooms in the house soon, but we'll just have to see when I get time because the kids also want to go to the pool. We got to do that in mornings because we just don't want there to be a lot of people there. Our pool just gets so packed. We walk in so many different neighborhoods and their pools look so empty and lovely and refreshing. And ours is just so packed that there's people sitting on like the cement and stuff because the chairs are all taken. It seemed fine this morning when we were picking up the food though, because that was right at 10 when it opened. I don't know how fast it picks up because we were back home again by 10.08, according to the cameras. But yeah, we'll see how that goes later this week have to watch the weather. Might rain. Might storm. Okay. Well, I'm going to wrap this up because I need to get him out of the shower. Thank you for watching this boring video. I so appreciate your comments and I'm going to be picking away at them this week because they always get away from me. You guys love to message during the day when I try to stay off my phone. I need to start answering them maybe at quiet time. But lately, that's when I catch up on all the news. So I just read the news. And then halfway through quiet time, I get really tired. And I just curl up in a little ball beside him. There's no way I could nap. I'm terrible at napping. I'm like horrible, even if nobody was around. And then he also talks to me the entire time. So yeah, I will get back to you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love your comments. I feel more connected. I feel like I have friends. I'm gonna see my real friend tomorrow. So there's that. All right, good night. Stay safe, be kind. Don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs>